Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you right now to be with us as we listen to this lesson. We ask you to help us apply it to our lives. We ask you to help us hear your voice when you speak to us. Father God, watch over the ones that are hearing it. Watch over the ones that are reading it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So it's Sunday. Every Sunday, we have a new memory verse. And the memory verse of the week is Ecclesiastes 12 and 8. Meaningless. Meaningless, says the teacher. Everything is meaningless. Ecclesiastes 12 and 8. Verse of the day is Luke 11 and 28. He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Subject, hearing, and obeying. Christian truths, so I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm doing what God says. I'm not doubting God. I rely on God. God is opening doors. Listening to God is the most important thing you or I can do. We can listen to our bosses, family, therapists, anyone else. But God is the most important person we need to stop and reverence. Many people have problems hearing God's voice, but it's relatively simple to some, and some is very difficult. God speaks in various ways. We are told this in Job. He speaks in visions through people and other ways. But do we stop and take in what he wants to say, or do we ignore him? Today's verse tells us that blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it. When we hear his word, is it him that's, that is him that is speaking to us about the wrongs we commit? Some people don't want to hear that. Some people say, I'd rather pray more. And, and some say, I'd rather read more. But wherever we do, we need to make sure we're hearing him and we're applying what he's saying. One of the ways we have favor is with God is to hear him. We forget how favor can be placed upon our life. And to have this in our life, we must one, must do what God has commanded us to do, to do. Two, we must hear him when he speaks to us through audible or his word. Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest of your soul. For the Lord to take our burdens, we must bring it to him. A lot of times we don't bring anything to him but complaints. But it's different when we let go of everything and let him and tell him how we are feeling and what we are experiencing. It says, learn from me. And how do we do this? By listening. <laughs> we must stop talking and listen. Some of us find this hard to do because we like to talk and talk. Still, it must be a balance. Like in drinking sodas, eating a healthy, watching too much TV. We must balance it. And when, when we tell him, listen, we must listen for him too. I had a problem the other week and I voiced him how upset I was and the situation had changed. I was like, wow, maybe I need to pray again. So I did. As I walked into my home, I heard him plain and clear, give me a resolution. I was so excited that he told me, he said, this is, isn't hard. You're making it harder than what it is. Do it this way. He knows me. He knows what I would do and what I would say and how I react. Let God guide you by listening to him. Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. I have seen everything done under the sun. Behold, all is vanity and is striving after the wind. God has made everything under the sun. In any situation, he can talk. God has seen every everything under the sun. And in any situation, he can talk us through it if we listen. We try our best to think that what we are dealing with is new, and it isn't. It's new to us and not to him. And he wants us to listen to him on how to resolve our problems. God inspired men to write the word of the Bible so we would have something to guide us in our life. Some people say life is miserable, which life isn't. What happens in our life is sometimes because we ignore the voice of God and things that are that aren't in our plans occur, we decide right then and there, life is miserable and terrible because we decide to handle life outside of what God told us to. We must hear God's voice and obey his will. Now, two things we can do when, when we are in this state. We can ask God to help us by giving us advice or, or to sit in our problems. And we can't allow what we are going through to make us sit in our problems. We can't allow what we are going through to push us further from connecting with God. But our situations should push us towards the living God. When we are in doubt or confused, we must slow down and wait for the Lord's voice to speak. Psalms 119 and 105, your, voice, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light into my path. His words, his voice, all of it can lead us away from a dark path. It can lead us further away from what we are dealing with. A lot of times what we're dealing with seems very big and emotional, but 
what we have to do is allow his words, his voice to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And to do this, we have to sit and talk with him every day. And as we do this, we crave more with him. We crave more of him. I, for one, have learned on this walk that when we spend time with him and not look at the time, but look at him, we become closer and set aside time to grow closer to him. Today, don't allow what's happening to block you from hearing the voice of God. Allow what's happening to you to lead you back to the voice of God. We all have these moments where we are confused about whether we heard him. But when we aren't sure, ask him, God, are you speaking to me? I am listening because in our lives, some situation can be avoided when we listen and obey. Listening is hard in a world full of so much noise, but it's much easier when we stop listening to everyone else and noise and dial into him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for everything. We we want to grow from you and do your will. We want to be, we want you to be the Lord of Lords. Lord, we give you our ears. We ask you to, to open them up from a dead place. We have them come make them come alive so we may hear you lord we have ignored you in any way we are sorry please help us to hear you lord forgive us if we have decided to ignore you we are sorry lord we don't want the enemy to take over we won't we don't want to allow him to use us in any way but we want to be used by you in every way lord help us to listen to you more and not just listen but to do what you want of us in jesus mighty name Amen. Reference Luke 8, 21, but he heard them. My mother, my brother, are those here, the word of God and do it. John 13, 17, if you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. John 13, 17, Psalms 1, 12 and 1, praise the Lord, blessed the man who fears the Lord, greatly delights in his commandments. Psalms 1, 12 and 1, further reading, Proverbs 12, Ezekiel 12, Philippians 2, Obadiah 1. This ends hearing and obeying. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow any platform. Remember to share with a family member or friend. Remember to add or share on your social media. If you have YouTube, please go on and like and subscribe and click the notification bell to get every update that's being updated. Thank you. Be blessed.